All right, everyone, welcome back here to the channel and another video. So uh, I had this person on the channel, I don't know, a month or two ago. Uh, he drove a three valve, like a 2005 Mustang GT. Nothing crazy, it was all stock. It had like exhaust and cams on it and stuff like that, but it, you know, it was a three valve. Uh, he just recently, within the last couple of days, sold that and upgraded his car. But he didn't get a Mustang. He decided to go from Ford to Chevy. Uh, he went ahead and he got a Corvette. It's actually pretty nice. It is a Corvette, but it's actually pretty nice for, from at least the pictures and everything that I've seen of the car. But as soon as he got the car, he hit me up and said he wants to take a road trip down to Mexico because he thinks he can take my Gen 3 on E85. Um, I'm skeptical. Um, it is stock though, his Corvette is stock. So I don't know the exact year, but it is a C6 Corvette. I don't know the exact year from what I understand it's stock, but he wants to take a road trip down to Mexico. And uh, as soon as he got the car, he hit me up. So I can't turn down a trip. So we're gonna go fire this thing up. We're gonna go check out his car and um, see how his car hangs against my Gen 3. driven this thing in like three days so so this will definitely be a first for me i've never raced anything other than a mustang and henry's infinity in this car i have it's all i've gone up against is other gen 3s 2024 uh gt the sx50 um Henry's car, and yeah, that's about it. So, if anybody that is watching that is in my area, the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, if you guys would like to get on the channel and have your car either featured to just check it out, do like a review, or if you want to go take some trips down to Mexico, I don't care if you're faster, slower, uh, it's just for fun and it gets you a chance to have your car on the channel. So, if that is something that you'd like to do, drop a comment and let me know. I would definitely be interested. Honestly, I wasn't planning on making a video this weekend uh, for a couple reasons. One, uh, the weather was has been absolute trash. We had some pretty severe storms come through here the, the last couple days. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a break in the weather now. It's pretty warm, but uh, yeah, it, we had a torrential downpour, thunder and lightning, all that stuff. And we just got back uh, from my other job, our apparel company that we own. I was at a two-day event for that completely just dead dog exhausted but he hit me up and i can't turn down an opportunity uh to make some content for you guys and something somewhat new with uh going up against a corvette so i'm kind of excited about that apparently he's already there he's at this uh, place where we're wanting to uh link up uh, apparently he's super eager super eager to get gapped inside probably inside getting a snack or something all right so until cam shows up this is his c6 <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is cam's car how awkward it'd be if like some guy just randomly so happened to have the exact same spec car as his and this actually isn't his but uh this looks exactly like his so he had a black like i said three valve a 2005 gt so Performance wise, he definitely upgraded. But I'm curious why he decided to go the route of Chevy instead of not sticking with Ford. So hopefully we'll probably inside the store, but we'll talk. So what year is it? A, uh, 2011 Grand Sport. Okay, I knew it was like probably like 2010 to 2011-ish. Yeah. I mean, it is an upgrade going from a Gen, or sorry, not a Gen 3, a three-valve yeah. GT. But what made you want to go to a 
Man. That's going from Ford to a Chevy. I've I mean, always wanted a vet. So. Almost a sin. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Eventually I'll get like a Super Snake yeah. or something like that. But Although it is nice though. It is, yeah. it is. Originally I was looking at uh, C5s, but this just came across and I couldn't pass on it. Yeah. So. so let's pop the hood. We got to check it out. Let's go look at it. All right, so it's an LS3. These are what, 430, 435 horsepower? 430 to the crank, somewhere around there. I know these weigh less than a Mustang. So you got me on weight. These are probably like what, 400 pounds lighter? I honestly have no idea. From last thing I saw, it was like 3,300 pounds or something. Yeah, like that. that's quite a bit lighter. But yeah. I, I got you on horsepower. I am Palm Beach 285. He is stock. He's lighter. So uh, I mean, I couldn't pass up an opportunity. I don't think I was like the first person you contacted to yeah. take a trip down to Mexico. So yeah. I'm excited. So let's hop on the road. Chevy Zero. I just want to point that out and make that clear that Ford for the win. I'm not sure how many car lengths that was on that second race, but I want to, it looked like maybe two, I don't know, two and a half. I'll have to ask him. I should have put my other camera on his car, um, but you know, it is what it is, but probably somewhere around two car lengths. I'll ask him and see once we go back across over the border and uh, let the car chill out a little bit and I wanna go back out and do it again. And then after that, I wanna go for a ride in his car. Uh, maybe he'll let me drive it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna cross over and let the car chill for a minute. Cam definitely needs exhaust for sure. And uh, he said he's getting cams. So Cam needs cams and exhaust. And uh, those two things, that thing's gonna sound choppy. It's gonna sound good. Your car's too quiet. It has to get exhaust. You know, I'm, I'm right here ordering parts right now, so. <laughs> I've noticed a trend uh, with Henry and his Hellcats. When I beat him in the GT500, he went and got a tune and a bunch of stuff. He got a smaller pulley. Um, I beat him again in his Infinity. He just got a tune, uh, so he wants to run that back again soon. Uh, James also, uh, his car was stock. We ran, then he went and got a tune on his car. Um, so yeah, so did you just pick up exhaust or what did you get? It's a natural process. Um, so what'd you order? Headers. You just exhaust. now picked up some, some headers? Yes. That was fast. Yes. <laughs> we, weren't even, we weren't even back in the parking lot and you were like, okay, well, click, I realized, send. I realized after you were passing me that I needed them. So I pulled up my phone <laughs> as I'm going. Well, that first run, I left late, so like, Oh fuck. So then I got back on it and I was like, I had that car in front of me. It's so like, I hope I can get a little bit in front of him. And then it's that E85. It pulls us a lot more on the top and then it did stop. Too long. That makes a huge difference. 10 or 80. Yeah. 10 or 80 for the win. Can't yeah. beat that.
Ford 5 Chevy Zero. Just want to just point that out. Ford 5 Chevy. Big old goose egg. That was either 5 or 6. I don't know. 5 runs or 6. I'll have to go back and watch. Obviously, by this point, watching it, you guys would know. But it, it was either 5 or 6. I think it was 5. But from a 60 roll, I think this thing grips better with these crappy-ass factory tires from a 60. The second to last roll we did from a 40, uh, with traction control on, it was having trouble gripping. So that was from a 40 in that... I didn't put it in sport mode and click it after I took off. I just kept it in drive. I know it's more beneficial to put it in sport and then click once you go. I knew I was probably going to be quicker than him off the line anyway because, you know, the 10 or 80 and the 85. Um, but yeah, um, I kind of had an idea that was going to be what the outcome of this was going to be since he is stock. But once you throw modifications on that, I think it's going to change the story of those things for sure. I will say though, Cam, I am happy the fact you did get the Corvette. Uh, it was unexpected, but it is definitely a change of pace, which is cool. It is a Chevy, but I told them off camera, I would, for sure, I would take a Corvette over a Camaro every single time. All right, we're gonna go for a spin in this, this beast. Yeah, I wanna see what it would look like with my car, like probably a bus <laughs> link in front of his, probably. <laughs> No, in all honesty, dude, like I I said here just a second ago, I think you definitely upgraded for sure going from a three valve to a oh, vet. 100%. 100%. For the price that you paid on this, yeah. you couldn't have got a Gen 3 for what he paid for this car. I mean, maybe like a 2018 with high miles, maybe, but still, I mean, I, maybe it's, it's different. Uh, it's a Corvette, which is awesome, so... You got the headers coming. Uh, he doesn't know what else is coming after that, but probably something that's going to make himself a little bit more competitive. Performance parts. Performance that's parts, of course. <laughs> Shifts like super smooth, yep. which is nice. Like you can hardly feel it shift. Uh, are these a six speed or eight speed or what are they? Speed. It is a six speed. Yeah. You think Corvette would put like an eight speed in this or something? Or, Pretty sure they did now on the newer ones. Oh, they, oh yeah, this is a 2011. Because uh, yeah. I didn't get a seven speed manual. Yeah. On the new ones. Yeah, it shifts like super smooth, which is cool. I think if my car was stock, it would be a lot closer of a run yeah. for 100. percent I'm not denying that at all. This thing for stock, it's not bad. It's not bad for stock. But once he puts the power in a tune, we'll uh, probably uh, definitely run it back again. Hopefully by then we'll have some better tires too. I think maybe if you gave it a bath, that probably would have made it a little bit closer. All the weight reduction. All the extra yeah. weight and it would be more aerodynamic with all the yep. all that stuff on it for sure. So we're definitely gonna do this again. He's gonna get cams, like I said, the tune, and uh, any excuse to make a road trip here across the border in Tijuana is always, always a fun time. So we'll definitely do this again. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this one out. If you guys are watching and you're not subscribed, please, like I always say, do me a favor, hit subscribe, drop a like and a comment. Cam, say bye. See you, all later. you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.